John Fears owns a business and lives right next door to the park on Calder. It's about safety and cleanliness of the neighborhood. Uh, I mean, that's I, I've talked about the whole time. The park does their job. They're bringing people in for the restaurant and the bar. That's what they're supposed to do. They're doing a good job at that. But it's the surrounding neighborhood that is suffering uh, the consequences of the people coming in. Fears just want people to respect the property and the neighborhood. Yes, we have homeless people. Homeless people aren't the problem. It's people leaving their trash behind, cutting through my property, go to the park. The loud music has become better, says Fears, but it's almost as if the patrons have become worse. We had three people back on my back porch taking pictures. Then on the other house that I own, they were peeing on the steps over there. He had to run them. Fears says this wasn't an issue when Luke's Bar and Grill owned the property. The difference was Luke's didn't draw that many people, and Luke's also stopped their music at 11 o'clock at night. The park doesn't get amped up till about 11, 11.30, 11 11.45. Fears says it's not the park's fault. The city has to do something. It's going to be up to the city to kind of decide on that. They want to have a roundhouse conversation with all the residents and things. But they just need to think outside the box themselves and come up with a solution. Now, Cosman Durio says it will take everyone to solve this problem. I think we're heading in the right direction to come up with a solution for all because it's a good business. We want to have good businesses thrive in Beaumont, but we also understand the citizens' concerns.